Hello, my name is Brennan Yu and I've been riding skateboards for over 4 years and riding electric skateboards for over 2. Both skateboards and electric skateboards can be considered types of last mile transportation, which refers to the movement of people and goods from a transportation hub to a final destination. For example, one might get off a bus or a train and use a last mile vehicle for that last mile home. Traditional forms of last mile vehicles can include bicycles, scooters, skateboards, roller skates, or even unicycles. Since these are all things you can realistically bring onto public transportation. However, we now live in a period of time when battery technology is advanced enough to create electric versions of all types of these portable transportation, and I believe these portable electric vehicles are the future of urban transportation. Today you'll be able to find people on the streets riding all kinds of portable electric vehicles, usually for the purposes of last mile transportation. Electric bikes, scooters, and electric skateboards are electric versions of their counterparts that provide the convenience of transportation without all the effort that comes with using them. Electric roller skates and electric unicycles rethink its traditional versions by adding automatic and self-bouncing software for the rider. You'll even find the electric vehicles in forms that wouldn't otherwise be possible without an electric motor, such as the one wheel, a single wheel self-balancing electric vehicle that's unlike any portable vehicle we've really ever seen before. So why is this a conversation? Why are people using portable electric glass model vehicles? In short, cities are getting bigger and public transportation just isn't getting any better. Many jobs are in large cities which means a lot of people are moving to or commuting through cities. The efficiency of public transportation is more or less about the same as it always has been. People are still using metro trains, public buses, and even taxi services, or even now rideshare apps like Uber and Lyft to get around. The problem is that the metro as well as road infrastructure can cost a ton of time and money to improve. Public transportation and roads will continue to get more crowded, slow, and expensive, especially for those who are simply trying to travel a few miles to get home. People who are living in or moving to cities can't just wait for all of this to improve. That's where electric last mile vehicles come into play. These vehicles are fast, convenient, and in many cases cheaper than using public transportation, and not to mention really fun to ride sometimes. So where is society at with these electric vehicles and what does the future hold? To answer those questions we have to look at the history of portable electric vehicles first. One of the earliest portable electric vehicles that people will actually use to get around was the Segway. You know what a Segway is, they were big, heavy, and looked pretty silly. As battery technology developed, people started trying to make their own electric vehicles by slapping a large battery and motor to their bikes, skateboards, scooters, etc. Before long, a handful of companies started selling their DIY creations as high quality production vehicles. Companies like Boosted Boards sought to create a last mile vehicle, not a toy. Social media influencers like YouTuber Casey Neistat used Boosted Boards in his videos and it introduced the idea of portable vehicles to the masses. At around the same time, the Chinese tech company Xiaomi also developed electric scooters of their own, and this became the staple electric scooter that new shareable e-scooter companies like Bird and Lime used for their company early on for the rentable scooters. These e-scooters started popping out of nowhere in streets in a bunch of major cities and campuses. And most of these changes happened in early 2010s, so naturally local government and laws were not fully prepared for the sudden popularity of these vehicles. In some cases, shareable e-scooter companies have even dropped their scooters into a bunch of cities to force them to make legislative changes. Today, portable electric vehicles are not yet widely legalized as they are still in legislative gray areas for many places. For example, in New Jersey, portable electric vehicles are strictly outlawed on the roads, but rarely ever enforced. Places like New York City and Germany have had bans on electric vehicles up until recently, where they now allow vehicles of certain specifications to be on the streets. Despite the struggle with laws, people are still buying and using portable electric vehicles. The amount of people using them are still small enough that there are various local communities with people that share a similar passion for what they ride. Some examples include NYC eBoarding, Bay Skate, and DC eSkate from New York City, San Francisco, and Washington DC respectively. There are also now a wide variety of last mile vehicle companies that offer options for all kinds of needs for a wide budget range. The industry and market has gone a long way in making these vehicles more affordable for the masses. For example, last year, Boosted Boards released the Boosted Mini S, and it's a high quality board that's offered at a cheaper price point. This vehicle even won a Best Invention of 2018 award by Time Magazine. Even with all these developments of these portable vehicles, they're still pretty new. In general, society hasn't fully accepted the rise of these, especially from advocates of traditional counterparts. To many, electric motors are still weird and uncool, however with time that may change. Looking forward, the last mile vehicle industry will continue to advance with technological improvements as well as clearer laws at scale. 
Those developments would hopefully lead to cheaper models as well as a more positive societal viewpoint. This will open the door for much more people to purchase a last mile vehicle, which will result in greener cities and reduce some load on public transportation. It's possible a larger number of people on personal mobility can then lead to a shift in how we think about transportation in cities. Future cities may restructure their roads to better incorporate such vehicles. The future may still be a long ways away, however, last mile vehicle options are here now and better than they ever were. If you're tired of public transportation and you live in an urban area that allows for them, definitely consider buying or renting a last mile vehicle. You may very well save money and have fun while avoiding the hassle of a late and crowded bus or train. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. My name is Brandon Yu and I make electric skateboard related content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.